Now you can easily create your fitness app using Langflow and any of the vibe coding tools out there. You can start with asking user with their fitness goal, their fitness profile, as well as some additional notes. You can send that over to Langflow and then generate a detailed plan for the week and make that available in the app for the users. We'll start with a simple flow. And in this flow, we are taking the fitness goal as a text input. Same thing with the user profile where users can talk about about their weight, height, and any additional information that they would like to provide to the application. And then we will add an input block for additional notes. So in case someone would like to indicate any injuries or any additional notes, they can provide that here. Now we will take all of these inputs and then send it over to a prompt block. And this particular component could have a simple prompt saying that you are a fitness coach or a fitness trainer and you are supposed to provide with a detailed prompt. But in our case, we want to get structured output from the data. And there are a few different ways you can do that in Langflow. One easy way is that you provide an output structure. So in this case, we can say that these are the values that we want as output from the analysis. And that's exactly what we're gonna take over to an structured output output. So what we notice here is that the prompt goes into this structured output component. And this structured output component takes two input. One is the language model. So in this case, we're using grog. This could be any LM available within Langflow. And the second input is the prompt that combines all of the different input as well as the prompt for the model. So this goes to an LM and we ask for a particular output schema for this application where we're providing with some keys and values and describing what each of those are. So in this case, we're asking for four different input and then we are describing what each of those are as well as what type of information that is. So there are options available here. It could be a string, integer, or many different type of values. So three of these are dictionaries and one is a string. And if we were to run the analysis, we'll see that the results are in a specific JSON format. Now, this is quite nice because now we can use this in our front end application and then parse it using any JSON parser. And once we have this, we can pass the data through a parser block so that we can convert this JSON into a string and then send it over to our front end application. If we were to look at the output from this particular component, it is basically the JSON representation in a string format. So now we can take this over to our front end application. Now the way we can connect this with front end is with the API access. We can take the curl command, provide that as an example or an input to any of the vibe coding tools, and then also a response and we get the application working. First thing we're gonna do is we are gonna provide the curl command for the API to a tool like Postman where we can test the response and provide the response as an example to any of the vibe coding tool. So to begin, with we are going to use the postman tool and I am going to import the curl command that we got from Langflow. So just to go back, I'm going to copy the command from Langflow and provide that to the postman tool. And with that, it should be able to pull in all the essential info and we can run this without saving or we can import into collection. Either works fine. So once we have it in the collection, now we need to provide the header, so especially the bearer token. This is available in Langflow. You can generate a new one, or if you already have one, you can provide that. So I provided the header here and I'm gonna modify the body because we need to provide three different inputs from our application to the Langflow API. And those are the text input that we saw in our application. So I am gonna go to the API section again and I am gonna go to the tweaks and then change a few things. So one is the fitness goal. This is muscle gain. So just to trigger and activate this in your API example curl command, we can add a space or backspace or anything along those lines. And what happens is we will see that as an option available within tweaks. So we're gonna do same thing for the other two. So user profile is gonna be same as well. So I'm just going to add a space here and with the notes as well. So just 
simple space. And now we are going to notice that all three of those are available within our tweaks. So I am going to just take this tweaks section and then paste it within our body in Postman. So let's add that. I'm going to paste here. Since the formatting that we provided in Flow was a bit different, it's not liking that we are supplying this particular format. So I'm just going to delete all of this here so that we have it in the right format and that looks good. Same thing with the text input as well. Great, so this sanitized version looks fine and we are gonna send the prompt over again to the Langful API. And we get a response back saying that the input value to the text input, this should be empty. Now, cause we're supplying the input as the tweaks, we are not gonna be providing this input value. So I'm gonna change that and actually remove all then send the response again. And with that, it seems to be like in that and it takes all of the input and it'll probably take a few seconds and we'll have the response back. So now once we get the response back, we are going to take the response as well as the curl command over to Replit where we are going to build our application. And we are going to ask agent within Replit to help us build the fitness app and it takes three inputs. First is the fitness goal, second is the user profile, and third is the additional notes section. And of course, we can provide some details so it understand what we're talking about, as well as we can provide a sample API curl command, as well as the response that we get from the command. And we just mentioned that we have the API token, which it needs to keep secret, as well as it can look through the text and the value for the text, especially where we have the response back from the agent. So everything as the value of text is gonna be used in our application. So with that, we can get started building the application. So I am gonna run and with that Replit agent first comes up with a plan. So it's gonna go through the requirements and analyze and ask us if we need to add some additional features or not. So we are going to approve the plan and then it is going to build the application for us. So once we have the initial plan, we can see if we need to add anything in here. So I'm going to check the first three options here. They look nice. Uh, although the third option of adding visualizations of workout routine, probably it's going to be a stretch goal, but we can get started and see if it is able to achieve that. If not, then we can ask for it to modify and remove that portion. And it also gives a timeline saying that the over Overall preview is going to take two minutes as well as the first app version probably is going to take about 10 minutes or so. So we are going to hit approve the plan and it is going to start building the application for us. And if you have not used Replit Agent before, you'll see that in this section on the right side, it starts writing the code and all of the code is going to be available in the files. And the way it writes codes is it goes piece by piece as different components that it needs to add. And it is visually quite appealing as we can see here. Now I do notice that some of the elements are a little off we can always ask the agent to fix that for us but for now it is going through the preview and we can see that it is writing all of the code for us now while building the application it went through a lot of changes here and it also has for my Langflow API token, which I provided here. Now it's gonna go through the rest of the application building. Great, seems like we have the base version of the application working. Now I'm just gonna expand the window. And with this, I'm gonna provide all of the info and hit generate fitness plan. It's gonna call the Langflow API and based on the response, it is gonna provide us with the fitness plan. Now, depending on where your Langflow instance is running, this might be a little faster or slower but once the response is successful you will see the details and there we go now we have a detailed fitness plan which talks about the daily calories the protein we should take the carbs fat and it also provides us with daily workout routine we see that it's providing for the five days and it is quite detailed now we can always ask for additional sections and then run the app we can create a new plan so this 
this is looking quite nice. It is just one single prompt we provided to Replit with the details of the API that we are calling as well as response and we get the plan. Now there is an option to print the plan as well as to generate a new plan. So feel free to work on this. Feel free to add additional sections. The agent here can add additional features if needed. But this is a nice example of going from your Langflow API to building a nice front end that now you can deploy and share with the world.